Let's do our duties at the hospital now. I forgot what today's duties are. Maybe it's just a treat for people? Don't remember. Hey. Blood, tissue, and sinew. Peel them away, and they conceal a rather simple diagram. We need an isolation ward. A huge building. Spacious, yes. That's the word I used. The kinds suggested the cathedral. That's it. Nothing surprises me anymore. Then again, all a quarantine person has left is prayer. Hmm. They say you can tell who's infected immediately, that it shows. We don't know anything for certain yet. Anything. The vaccine is a disaster. People are dropping like flies. Not a single patient recovered. Not a single one. An oak isn't felled in one stroke. Questions, questions, questions. Always questions, never answers. I have a question for you too, Erdem. By the way, what does Erdem mean? Obviously it's a step word, but what's the translation? Arrogant fool, maybe? Erdem, Oinen, and Emshen are the words people use for doctors. So? Okay, don't laugh at me. Have you heard that five years ago, during the first outbreak, kids made these horrible mixtures from ground pills? Yes, schmouters. They can cure the plague. Yes, I've heard. Worse, I've checked. So don't laugh at me either, dear colleague. What's the word? Erdem? Holy shit. Sorry, excuse my language. So you've checked then? You don't have to watch your tongue with me. Yes, I've checked. But if you wonder how it works, I don't know. I'm not a pharmacologist, and anyway, this place doesn't have a lab. If you ask me, it was 10,000 monkeys at a typewriter. I don't want to delve too deep into this. There are more things in heaven and earth. What we need is a process that follows the scientific method. Fair enough. You aren't cub anymore, Burach. Time to grow up. That is literally the only thing you say to me, isn't it? So how's your panacea going? An oak isn't felled in one stroke. I just said that. <laughs> Too many corpses today. More than yesterday. They can barely cart them all away. Where are they buried? I don't know. Ask Denkovsky. He manages it all. I just do my job. So there are still no recoveries? No one stayed alive for more than a day. If the patient has a weak constitution or no medicine, it takes closer to eight hours. And antibiotics? Properly prescribed, they can extend their life. I remember Mentor talking about it. I always forget your step word. The three states? Is that what you mean? Yes. Could you at least find the right antibiotics for some patients here? Perhaps some would survive a day or two. Then you could rescue them with that panacea of yours. Is that my job for today? I guess. Alright, consider it done. I've made up my mind, you know. If I survive all this, I leave. Never to return. Where would you go? I don't know. To the front. I guess it's safer there. Correct antibiotics to three patients, and we should have some medicine here. Hello, creepy face. Yeah, a couple antibiotics. Alright, so I want to test out all of these. Both of these are going to treat bone, so I'm just going to use tinctures and hope that uh, bone is what they need. It has to be the correct antibiotic, so there's no point. Well, hmm. There... There would be a point in administering it for the sake of completing the quest where I need to test these out, but it wouldn't help with the helping out at the hospital quest. So there's some point, but I shouldn't. Should I save the Metro Plus? I'm going to save the Metro Plus. Ah, shit. That found nothing, so I think it definitely isn't bone. 
Let's try blood. Ooh. Blood or bone. Given that I already used a bone one, it's probably blood, right? I know how this works when I use plus tinctures, but not exactly how it works when I don't. I think non-plus tinctures don't quite reveal everything in their area quite as reliably. I'm going to say it's blood. Fuck. Sorry. How many people are here? Oh, there's plenty. Or oh, wait, no. No, no, no. They're dead. Three, four, uh, yeah, I could get it wrong a couple more times and still have enough people to even administer antibiotics too. <laughs> well, let's try bone again. But there's something. Okay. This should make it clear. Really? I'm going to assume it's a bone. Let's use one of these. God damn it. Ah. Oh, oh no. Fuck. Oof. Mm, I'm going to take the Medrol Plus. Do I have to use up to three tinctures? My god. Infected blood produces an antibiotic, too. Still not a panacea. And this one's connected to this, which is connected to the brain. So perhaps I need an infected brain plus the blood I'm going to get from the bowl to get this, maybe? Alright. I can't fuck up too many more times. Really? No, no, wait, 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 wait. They're in too much pain. Definitive, thank god. This is... very costly to do it when you don't have plus tinctures. Okay, so this one I can definitely give you this one and you'll be fine, buddy. Alright, that's another one. Uh, not that, not that, this. An infected heart produces an antibiotic too. Still not a panacea. So I need to produce, or give the right antibiotic to two more patients, and there's only three patients here. So I can't fuck this up too much. I also don't have many tinctures left, to be honest. Oh, sweet. Definitive. There you go, buddy. Ah, fuck. I keep forgetting about that. Can I avoid it if I just run away real fast? I don't want to get infected. Should I take a tincture? Uh, Medril is going to increase my hunger? No exhaustion. Man, you're real close to this person, Ruben. told me jack shit. That told me a little bit of shit. Uh... I mean, I guess I just gotta try something, huh? Please be nerves. Yes, thank god. Ah. My reputation in the marrow is maxed. Nice. All done. Tomorrow the fund will reward me. The fund is maxed out. Sweet. I need to do some serious tincture brewing today, though. Yeah, I have literally no tinctures left. Just a couple painkillers. And plenty of antibiotics. Hmm. I just walked a little bit outside the theater, and then this automatically happened. There's no point in trying any further options. And then this is completed. 
Wrong. Trying out infected tissue leads nowhere. I need to think outside the box here. And that's connected to this, which is connected to sometimes a whole can be more than a sum of its parts. And it can have special properties that the individual components don't. Pretty sure it is related to the bull blood. I'm visiting Var's place. Not to speak with Var, though, but to speak with the chemist. We need to stop what they're doing. This incredibly creepy person. Why does your face look like that? I'm not sharing my formula, if that's what you're after. I don't need competition, thank you very much. Or are you here to put a stop to my little enterprise? Like hell you will. I'm the Kynes man. You belong to old Gimsky. Right, I remember how to solve this. So the Kynes ordered for corpses to be embalmed. They don't need order, they inspire. By their teachings, blah blah blah. In other words, the Kynes didn't actually do it. So if I go speak with the Kynes, Victor specifically... We can clear this whole thing up. I'll pay him a visit and ask in person. In the meantime... What do you got? More antibiotics are always a good thing. Although these aren't the highest quality. But they're something. Yeah, let's get them. I've actually only got one morphine. But I do have these two painkillers. Let's buy it anyway. And then, how's my health? It's a little bit hurt. I took some coffee, by the way, which lowered my exhaustion, but lowers my health. Or, sorry. Uh, no, that's right. It lowered my exhaustion and also lowered my health. So, what the hell? Let's get this bandage. I want to make sure I don't die. It's going to be super cautious. Just wanted to see Africa bloodstain once again. Hello, my old friend. I don't think there's anything to talk with VAR about, really. Well, at least I can buy an immunity booster from VAR. I don't think I need any more bandages. Let's go visit Ava Yawn and see why the town is calling me here. Is this where they tell me about their dream? Walking through a cemetery, bones... A regular train will come soon. It'll bring doctors and medicine from the capital. You're a step man, aren't you? Your kin? Tell me how to walk the step right. Clearly I have nothing better to do than teach you step walking. Want me to tell you a dream I had? Go ahead. Yeah, this is that dream. I dreamt of Earth, a cemetery. Not ours, a different one, in a big city. I walked through it barefoot. Then I saw them there in the snow melt, the bones. I realized they were his beloved bones, or maybe my own even. Why? What was the purpose of my life? I think they were your bones, forget me not. This plague came after me. Really? I'm good for nothing, worthless. I don't know my own purpose. Do you? I want to find my roots. That's my purpose. You know, I tried to tell him, but he only laughs it off. I don't want to die. I know I must, but, but I don't want to. Tell him? Who's him, Bachelor Dangovsky? You must? No, you don't. So don't. Let's go speak with Victor Kine about the whole chemist embalming bodies and recruiting children to do it thing. The rabble believes Simon was reborn as that strange girl. What madmen. Only yesterday they despised her. Is it urgent? Your chemist provides services to people who don't want to bury their dead. My chemist? We don't have a chemist. He says you endorse his actions. Living people are sharing their homes with the dead now. Are you happy? If I'd learned about this earlier, I would have torn his head off already. Now give me 35 seconds of silence, please. I need to think. That's kind of funny. 
If give me blah 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 seconds of silence, I need to think. That's exactly the same sort of thing the Inquisitor says. The cemetery is overcrowded. I see. The caretaker girl forbids mass graves and stirs unrest. Yes, I've received these reports. People hide their dead to avoid having them burned. Corpses multiply in living rooms. Does the infection linger in dead bodies? Most likely. This activity needs to be immediately curtailed. Do you know which house they were planning to visit? I'd search the houses next to the drugstore. I have a favor to ask of you, Burrah. Find at least one house where the living harbor the dead. Find it and mark the door with, say, a white cross, as they did with the plague in the old days. It will become my proof. Then I'll have leverage to deal with this, this matter. Leverage? Do you really need it? No one would question the kind's actions. Exactly. We're the kind's. People only let us break the laws of nature because we obey the laws of justice. Do you understand? I do. Okay. Listen for the odd sound in the house. If I remember right, it's one of these houses. Yeah, this one. I might as well just mark it. I know that this is the right one. That's... It? Uh huh. Maybe I still need to go inside and confirm it, because the quest didn't update. upstairs. Yep. There we go. I've marked it. Found a house with unburied corpses. And then I think they begged me here. What is that white cross on the door? Did you mark our house? And don't you dare erase it or mark other houses. What does it mean? Do you live here? Yes. Did you commission someone to preserve your dead? We were scared they'd lock us all in if they found out. Well, now they will, but they wouldn't have if you just buried your dead properly. Harsh thing to say, but you need to prevent the infection from spreading as much as possible. Okay, the town is calling me to Georgie Kine's place. So you've come. Yes, I have. What is a town? What do you mean? What is a town? An organism. A town is a process. It's movement. More often than not, it's slow and aimless. Town creeping across the land like an oil stain. We wanted to make a town that would grow upwards. Quickly purposeful. And what would be its purpose? In this town, people can make the impossible, if they're capable, of course, for it is a machine, a border-breaking machine. Are people machines to you, too? Like machines that produce ideas? No, people are mere infants, yet to even climb from their cribs. Larva on the verge of transformation. A town is a process. A human is a process. Pointed up and forward, unlike what some would have you think. Past a certain age, certainly our mind begins to degrade. Why is that? Such is our nature. See the polyhedron? The tower on the other side of the river? No, my friend, that's the issue. It's not yet on the other side. And that is quite symbolic. What do you mean? Just like a person, the town is a process. It grew from ancient times imprinted upon the Neolithic abattoir, from the ancient steppe upwards towards the Gorhon. 
Now it finds itself pressed against the river, a border. The town has faced its limit, unable to move forward unless we do the impossible. Well, maybe we're fine as we are now? The time has come for us to cross to the other side. Even the polyhedron defying the law of gravity, one of the most binding architectural laws, is still not there. It stands on an island between the two banks. It is a bridge. We've raised our foot over the abyss, but have yet to step forward. Frozen in the middle we are. Still, this is a lot. I'm going to say this just because it's kind of funny. The polyhedron isn't especially pretty. Are you sure it had to be built? This tower proves that any limit can be challenged. We currently believe death is inevitable, just as we once believed human flight to be impossible. But people achieved it and crossed unimaginable distances. This tower triumphs over the law of Earth. But people don't fly on their own. We use machines. And death is not overcome in bodily form, else we'd all turn into horrendous, strooled brugs, tortured by dementia and feebleness. It was in a certain adventure book, sort of. Thank you. I've seen books before, you know. <laughs> Such a sarcastic thing to say. Was there anything else you wanted to know? What father and your brother had in common, of course. Judging by your words, no two people could be more different. They used to discuss the town, its change in direction. They argued. I don't know what your father believed in. Simon won't tell us anything, not anymore. But I've explained his ideas to you. Thank you, Judge. That would be enough. Interesting. I just took the boat from over here after leaving Georgie's place, took it back to my place, and then as soon as I did that, this popped up. I'm exhausted. Maybe a bottle of Twyrine would reinvigorate my thoughts. I don't think I saw that on my last playthrough. I think that's totally new. Decided to go back to my place first, though. If nothing else, I am extremely hungry. Let's eat the biggest stuff first. nasty noise. Yeah, that's good enough. Man, my stats are looking beautiful. Except my exhaustion, I suppose. I could sleep. Huh? I don't know. Maybe later. Anyway, uh, while I'm here, let's upgrade my inventory. I don't think I ever upgraded my inventory to this level in the last playthrough. I think this is as far as I got it. But check this out. Oh my god! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 2. Did that really just give me 16 more slots? I did not expect that much. Oh my god. I... I can't see any reason to upgrade my inventory again. Why, how could I ever possibly need that much? Holy shit. Um, I only have one thimble, so I don't think I want to upgrade or uh, fix any of these things, because then they'll just start taking damage again. And then I'll have to pay this full price again. Yeah, my god. Well, with that much space, uh, hmm. Let me maybe rethink my inventory. Maybe there's other things I want to take with me. Yeah. How about this? I'm going to take the soap I had in there, just because it's a trading item. I'm going to take the leash. For when I happen to cross the nutshell, I can get another schmouter. Take the bandage with me. And... Mm, I don't think there's much of a reason to keep the twirine on me. I'll just drink, like, three of them. Ooh, what did that just direct me to? Hold on. I think that just directed me to Anna Angel's house. Ah, it did. Can we talk about the baby thing? Interesting. Well, uh, I have a lot of things to do here on a big line, don't I? 
Let's go do them. Oh, all of our brood things are done as well, although we don't need them for experimentation purposes. Medrill antibiotic, medrill antibiotic, and a bunch of painkillers. It's good to have all this room, because all of those take up separate slots. Oh, we can speak with Sticky. Well knows the kitten whose meat it has eaten. How's it going? Well, I never expected to succeed right away. But you can make uh, um, that stuff that cures the disease. Antibiotics? You said that yourself. No, we need a serum that can cure the plague once and for all. So how do we make a panacea then? We need a creature that can withstand this disease. And I don't think it will be human. Oh, I think that's a bit of a hint about the bull. I'm curious who we're going to be talking to here in the Broken Heart. Is Baby Vlad here? The Bachelor? What do you call such a man? A slave. You call him a slave. It's hard to admit, but I think arrogance is my undoing. This damn microbe is a shapeshifter. A Proteus. It eludes me. The vaccine doesn't work. Bura, this is a dead end. It is a dead end, Erdem. I've tried all the obvious components, but none of them work. I've extracted a microbial culture. I weakened it. It's doable even without all the tools I'm used to. But it's ever-changing. Like a person first sick with pox, then with cholera, then with typhoid fever. What do I do? This cure, it needs some sort of special tissue. It needs to be more than human. And yet, there's a wholeness to this disease. There must be some commonality between all these heinous shapes. What do they share? If I understand that, I could catch it by the tail. The answer must be so close. It's not even about immunity. The tissue must fight back, not defend, overcome the enemy, not just protect itself. Actually, no, I want to go with this. But who says that this creature is beyond reach? Human or not, who cares? The scientific method has never failed me. I've always walked the path it showed me. But science is a minx. You need to keep her fascinated to change yourself, invent new things. I need to think outside the box. Thinking outside the box. Yes, that's the approach this problem needs. Which means that I need to approach the problem from a very unusual angle. But it's challenging. The fuller one's memory, the more active the brain, the more limits it imposes upon itself. Correct. When you're at a dead end, perhaps what you need is to rise upwards. I'm trying to follow the principles they taught me in medical school, but Dankovsky's education is better, and he gets nowhere. My strength lies in the lore. My, wait, my strength lies in the lore? Obscures to, what? My strength lies in the lore, obscure to others. Oh, oh, I was reading that as plural for some reason, obscures, but no, it's singular. My strength lies in the lore, obscure to others. The answer is in the step. You have coffee beans, by the way? No, I don't think I want to buy anything. Let's go see what Anna Angel is up to. It's throw yourself in the river, brick yourself in the basement, or get sandboxed. Why are you looking at me like that? This is my final hour. Death stands at my door. I'm still curious. Who are you in truth? Me? A local milkwoman. 
and I'm a local priest. I'm here for your confession. Fine, I'm an artist, a circus performer, an equilibrist. Happy now? You look unhealthy. I dreamt of Earth today. Oh, this is that same dream. I walked barefoot across a cemetery, past bones and spring snowmelt. Why? What was the purpose of my life? Hmm, we must have had this conversation in the last playthrough then, because I have that here, don't I? Yeah, and Angel saying it here. They were infected at the time, but they, they still had it. The same conversation. Perfect across the cemetery, past bones and spring snow melt. What was the purpose of my life? Is that it? You're giving up? I'm from the caravan. I was with the caravan. I thought so. We kidnapped children, lured them in, turned them into circus freaks. Our maestro even sold some to anyone who could afford them. I suspended myself from a trapeze, enthralling them with my disciplined form, luring them backstage after the performance. I've heard of the caravan. You made the papers. This plate came after me. It's my punishment. I can't run, can't hide. So you hide away in our backwater place then? Yes. Did you harm a lot of kids? Quite a lot, but I'm not good at counting. I can't even read. Makes sense, circus performer. I don't want to die. Then live. Perhaps you'll even make up for what you've done. Really curious what them staying alive is going to do. How their story is going to progress, if at all. I'm at the Sobarov's place. But last time I was here in the last playthrough, I spoke with... Uh, Shit, I forgot their name. What, Sabrov? Alexander Sabrov. I spoke with Alexander Sabrov first. They got the mob out here waiting for them or something. Forgot exactly what that's about. Um, I spoke with them first, and then when I went to speak with Catherine, or Katerina, rather, I couldn't really speak with her. I could only speak with her many reflections all around her. But I couldn't do much with her, I think. And the quest even says I should start with Katerina, I guess. That is actually important. So this time, let's go around back. Now, what were all of you about? She shows her true colors, the false mistress. If our beloved white swan Victoria were here, she'd be out on the street, shielding people from trouble. And Nina. If she were around, none of this would be happening. That's the sort of power she had. But this one just locks herself up at home. A useless mistress. Your Victoria could do nothing about a plague like this. You say Victoria couldn't? You're just faithless. She would. She used to shelter the town under her bright wings. She used to be our white mother. She would let no trouble in. What do you even know? Where did you even come from? You speak of mistresses as if they worked miracles. They're just women. You know nothing, you dolt. If you don't know the power of the mistresses, then shut your mouth and show some respect. Have some sense. Some give off heat, some give off light, some give off poison. We sense that she gives off poison. <clears throat> I suppose I should be going. Goodbye. Let's go speak with Katerina. So 
all the reflections are still here. But I think before I couldn't speak with Katarina, only the reflections. I was broken upon the wheel of fortune in a dream. Isidore's son. Artemy, is that right? Or is it Ayrshire? Well, that's... That's interesting. I can say no. Ayrshire was my older brother. He died young. I'm Artemy. I think that's the first time I've ever heard mention of having an older brother. Huh. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm Artemy. Have you come to present yourself to the mistress? It's taken long enough. I don't believe this is a courtesy visit. That means you have a request. Speak. Um, <laughs> this is a funny thing to say. That street rat, Clara, said you were in need of help. <laughs> now this is funny. What's funny? I'm fine. Healthy and strong enough. But my husband could benefit from your help. He requires your counsel, but is too proud to ask. Alexander would rather bear all on his shoulders than distract you from your work. Could you speak to him? I'll speak to him. Is he at the town hall? Yes, at the town hall. Or maybe in his half of the house. I'm not certain. I haven't seen him in a while. Yes, quite a while. Almost a day. I'm glad I paid you a visit, Katarina. I'm starting to understand this house. Seems like the dark cloud hangs over Alexander today, not Katarina. I'm not going to speak of the reflections, because I spoke with them last time. Yeah, they're just on the other side. Let me see if I can get the mob to fuck off. They say the Sobrovs nurture the plague, that they harbor a carrier, a girl. Hmm. They also say you shouldn't waste breath on idle chatter. Did that work? Doesn't seem like it. Well, I tried my best. No. I can't stand it much longer. Ah, Bura. If you've grown weary of your medical duties and seek to join the town guard, you'll leave disappointed. Your expertise would be wasted on the streets. Not to mention we're almost out of leather caps. That's okay, I've brought my own. So what brings you here today? The hunt for the urchin that carries the plague? If so, don't bother. My porch is already packed with volunteers. Pockets full of matches and kindling leave no room for common sense. I'm here to check on you. You're clearly overworked. Don't bother. I'm fine. Everyone is overworked these days. You, Ruben, Denkovsky. All the actual workers, unlike those layabouts outside. I could use your help with another matter. Never thought I'd hear praise from you. They showed up this morning, claiming to have found the carrier. A homeless little girl, clearly infected, but nonetheless alive and well. I know perfectly well what urchin they mean. Be assured, she has nothing to do with this. How can I help? You're a doctor. They'll trust you more than me. Tell them they're mistaken. Better yet, if they capture her, they can't hurt her. Without her, we're doomed. Isn't that right? Dankovsky told me that about his vaccine project. Yes, I'll tell them. Whoa. Why did you all change positions? Well, healer, will you tell us about the carrier? Is she in there? With him? Listen to me, idiots. There is no carrier. It's all... Uh, actually... Let's not do that. Listen carefully and tell everyone. 
Even if there is a carrier, that carrier is our salvation. We'll make a cure from that person's blood, a vaccine. We need the carrier alive for that. They also say she's not alone. I do, but I need to make sure, and that's not your job. If there are people who get sick but don't die, the plague must come from them. If. Yeah, fuck off. I know slightly more about the plague now. I need to keep searching. Even silly rumors may hold a grain of truth. I assage the crowd, but the cause of their anger still haunts me. Is it true that not all victims of the sand pest to die? And then I think we'll see Murky on the streets somewhere and speak with them. Does the whole Crowstone meeting happen tonight? The part where I get infected, if I choose to anyway. Oh, also, yeah, the uh, sacrificial bull thing, I can do that at this point. Um, need to arrive before dawn, so I have a quite a bit of time to do it. And thankfully, it's not all the way at Shehen. It is it is here. I'm curious if they have the bull up on the thing, or what. But yeah, at least that's going to save me a little bit of time. Ah, here's Marky. The plague bringer is here, walking around. Did you bring anything yummy? Hey, kiddo. Are you by any chance sick? Let me take a look. Why? There's a rumor circulating around that the carrier of the pest is an orphan girl. Show me your tongue. I'm not sick. Nope, not me. Never am. I don't even get colds. Not even when I'm soaked and barefoot. True, no signs of the disease. Well, I'm not scared of this plague at all. Everyone's dying from it, Marky. Not everyone dies from it. Only people who are scared. And I'm not scared at all. Who told you that? My new friend. Do you mean Clara? Is she your new friend? No, it's not Clara at all. It's my special friend. She's always with me. Yeah, sure. I want to go do the sacrifice as soon as possible. Because I'm sure it's going to require brewing things together. And I want to start that and hopefully have that done with by the end of today. Because I really don't want Ruben to die, so I need to do this as fast as possible. On the way over there, might as well stop at Sabo's place. Probably skip this conversation, probably most of it. But Make I'll take you back if anything interesting happens. In the cemetery, on the way there, there's a cache that I was pretty sure was here. In fact, I think I maybe even visited it this playthrough, but I just never marked it. But let's make sure I mark it. Only broken scissors? Well, I don't have any broken scissors to give. So instead... I don't really have any beans. Uh, have a fishing hook. Almost there. <laughs> 